the ban on junk food prohibits sponsorship from brands selling low nutritional value. The FSSAI has proposed that school authorities will have to adopt a comprehensive program for promoting safe food and healthy diets among school children. The vendors depending on this selling the junk food and the laborers dependent on this and the business dependence on this junk food. So they may face lot of problems. So from our side we need to educate and create awareness and uh, the side effects of junk food and we have to gradually turn that into a different, uh, they have to start a different business. The marketing of food products will go down especially with the sales of the products meant for children. The schools will no longer get sponsorships for events from food business operators, says the Food Security Commissioner. Just banning everything at once will uh, put stress, uh, financial stress on a lot of uh, these kind of parties who are involved in advertising and the food uh, industry. I would say uh, things can be done in a better way and uh, things can be curbed out slowly, in a, in a very slow manner switch to a different kind of business or improve their quality of business and convince the government. The ban on junk food and its hoarding is to curb the actions of food business operators using their logos. Once it is implemented, it will bring awareness to the children about the intake of junk food.